100. No. 200. No. 300. No. 400. 400. It's okay. What is it? 100, 200, 300. It's the sales volume for the new products, the new innovation. The average gross margin for the category is 50%. So we are trying to find the optimal sales volume so that the business case can pass. With 100 sales, the business case for our innovation and especially the gross margin is 40%, which is unacceptable. But with 400 sales, our gross margin is 50%. Now it's acceptable. 400? How come 400? Man, the total market capacity is already 400. There are many competitors in the market. Do you think that we will take 100% market share? The business. Sure. Okay. Thank you. What happened? The business needs four thousands, not four hundred. How can we do it? Have you ever faced this situation before? A new lovely innovation got launched in the marketplace and suddenly it disappeared and you as a consumer don't know the reasons behind this mysterious fade away from the market. Any innovation on this planet was an idea at a certain point of time. The initial stage in the product life cycle for any innovation is the development stage. There are a lot of work behind the scene in this stage from the organization. One of them is assessing the profitability in the business case of this innovation. What are the inputs for the business case? Number one, the sales volume. Number two, the marketing budget, including promotions, advertisement, all of that. Number three is the cost of goods sold. What is the output for this business case regarding any innovation? The profitability. The first step to build a failed innovation successfully in the development stage is build the volume top down. Another word, figure out the sales that you want to sell and ignore two things. Number one, the market capacity. Number two, the voice of the customer. And if those are ignored, you have only two ways for the innovation. Number one, too much optimism in the forecast or in another meaning, ordering more than the real demand. In that case, from the supply chain point of view, it could lead to an overstock in the inventory. Someone could ask this question. Why do you care too much about the overstock? Whatever we don't sell today, we will sell it tomorrow. But let me answer this question by another question. Why don't you buy too much bread in the grocery? Maybe it will be expired after three days? So any extra over and above your consumption, it will be expired. The same concept could be used for our innovation. Any overstock could be potential to be expired. Number two, too much pessimism in the forecast. Or in another meaning, ordering less than the real demand. In that case, there is only one way, out of stock. You will ask me another question, so what? The customer can wait until the stock's arrival, but let me answer this question clearly. Customer is always right and will never wait. The customer listed a new innovation, raised many orders. You didn't fulfill it. He stopped the ordering 
and then this innovation got delisted. Either too much optimism or too much pessimism in the forecast can lead the innovation into one way, only one way. What could be the solution for this challenge? And instead of building it top down, build it bottom up. Listen always to your customers. Build it with this customer and this customer and this customer and this customer. By building a realistic forecast, this could help in the sustainability for this innovation in the marketplace. Now, what are you going to do in the business case for this innovation? Not you. You. Moving on.